just going to check. Now, is that uh, this is the Facebook sound? Are we live on boat? <laughs> it's saying here we're live on video. Are we on YouTube there, Caroline? Yeah? And the sound, yeah, is the sound okay? Sound good, good, okay. Hey everyone, thank you for joining us uh, again for the Justice for Aaron Brady campaign. Um, we have been off air, or I've been off air for a few weeks. Um, uh, we had to take time to study and uh, <coughs> review what we had actually seen taking place on the island of Ireland in respect of Aaron, uh, in respect of the court system, the judicial system, and indeed the mainstream media, and what was unfolding uh, in front of us. I suppose it started initially, and I think I did mention before, it, it did have a very serious impact on myself when I listened to Mark Phillips uh, give a soliloquy on the 15th of April. Uh, most of what he said that day in court, um, this was during the Dean Bourne trial, was actually information and details that was made up by himself uh, to all intent and purposes. And um, it was something that shouldn't have been said because of the agreement and the horse trading that uh, I have spoken about before in previous videos, uh, the horse trading that went on between Mark Phillips, Brian Quirk, um, Mr. McTiernan, Superintendent McTiernan, and indeed with Aaron's legal team and with uh, Dean Burns' legal teams, and uh, how words, sentences, and phrases were horse traded on the body of Detective Garda Adrian Donahue. I watched it. I was actually party to it. I sat with Aaron's legal team and uh, discussed what should be let in and what shouldn't be let in in this absolutely ridiculous case. And then we were subject to what I can only describe as these two scumbags going around Ireland uh, promoting on podcasts, local radio stations, uh, Mother at Lordship, it was initially called, we have rebranded it uh, to how to make money from the death of your friend and colleague by Pat Marie and Robin Schiller. Um, we have done a couple of videos in respect of the book and the tour, uh, predominantly in relation to Pat Marie's um, uh, interview and uh, his... Um <coughs> promotion of the book on the Jerry Kelly show on LMFM. And on top of uh, the absolutely sickening, sickening, sickening uh, behaviour of Mark Phillips in the court on the Monday the 15th, and then Pat Murray simply going on to the LMFM radio station and just making up shit and making up complete and total lies. I also listened to uh, some of the podcast between Robin Schiller and um, Healy the Hack. What's his, what's his first name, Healy? Paul Healy, yeah. So I had to listen to some of that. And again, as would happen with Mark Phillips, I felt physically sick listening to and looking at Robin Schiller and these two bottom feeders, gutter journalists, uh, scum, uh, layers, uh, purveyors of injustice. Uh, they are pillars to the false imprisonment of our son Aaron. Paul Healy, Robin Schiller, your scumbag, you so dirty, rotten bastards, excuse the language. Um, and I think because we are speaking like that, uh, Schiller, Reynolds, Healy, uh, were more than happy to have our day in court with you if you just want to uh, take us up for slander or uh, in some way besperching uh, a name that you haven't got. 
Now, in respect of LMFM, we have sent a letter. The girls will put it up uh, immediately after this live. We'll put a copy of it up. We sent it to LMFM and uh, we mentioned, and we told them quite clearly, that Pat Murray went on a live podcast on LMFM, told an absolute tissue of lies that are verify 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 they're check if they can be checked they can be checked quite clearly uh, in the public domain the information the details of the lies pat Murray told on that podcast are there to be uh, quite easily highlighted and shown to the irish public and this is um although lmfm i'm not sure but i do believe it's owned by media house also um a European company that owns all our newspapers and local radio stations. So if anyone's of a, um, in any doubt or, en or concerned as to why uh, these um, media outlets do not uh, say, well, let's have uh, Tony Brady on or some of the Brady family on and he listen to what they're saying. And we as a media outlet, and particularly someone like LMFM, who want to lord and portray the good man guarded uh, Adrian Donner, who was, and rightly so. And here we have a whole campaign with four or five hundred videos, podcasts, lives, um, all sorts of interactions with people in England, podcasts with uh, in, on English stations uh, in the USA. And we are calling all those Pat Murray, Mark Phillips, uh, we're calling those people layers and purveyors of um, untruths and purveyors of the most serious miscarriage of justice on the island of Ireland at this moment in time and probably uh, through our history since uh, the foundation of the state. So that is where we are with um, the book which we we will delve into i apologize uh, for our um absence online but it just simply wasn't uh, either physically or mentally possible for myself to continue during the course of the last three weeks because i don't think we would have been able to um purvey aaron's story correctly and without deep penetrable anger or indeed taking it out either on my family or those I love and those people close to me. So this is what these people have done to me and our family. But uh, back up in court today for Dean Burns' uh, verdict uh, in, in relation to the tendency to pervert the course of justice. And it just reinforces what we have to do. Get um, shoulder to the wheel again and push forward with um, getting Aaron his freedom. That is the bottom line. So in respect of what happened today in court, uh, Dean Bourne was found guilty. As we had uh, uh, prophesied and we said that was going to happen and um, he was found guilty. Again, we're not sure there is no actual victim. There is no particular crime. It's a tendency to pervert the course of justice and uh, judge ed is it judge edwards i'm not sure who give the verdict it is no it's not judge edwards that's the appeal the girls will get that for me now i'll just give and indeed because of the evidence provided uh his best summation of what happened was that dean burns actions in concert with aaron brady were improper and all this charade and fiasco was brought to bear um, for uh, improper conduct and a tendency to do something in relation to Daniel Cahill. Uh, we have before and we will again apologise to Dean Byrne and his family for unfortunately being the lamb to the slaughter and being used as a pawn again in the most uh, horrific miscarriage of justice in the history of the state and on this island 
and unfortunately these people like Brian Cook, Superintendent McTiernan, Mark Phillips, Pat Murray, Logan Stain, um, Susan Hudson, uh, all these people are willing uh, to sell their souls to protect themselves and to try in some way uh, protect the fort or the castle that is surely crumbling around them and they know it is crumbling. They know why it's crumbling, they know the work we've done will crumble this false narrative that they have created. So um, the sentencing will take place on the 15th of July for Dean Byrne. I think Aaron will be sentenced that day. Um, now those all, uh, as most of you know, Aaron pleaded guilty to recording uh, the video of Ronan Flynn giving his evidence at, um, uh, to the Garda Shia Corner, Mark Phillips and Paul Gill and uh, Bunty Riley, I think he is, in New York. And uh, that's the day I do believe the judge made a, a serious error when he said Aaron admitted disseminating this onto the uh, mainstream media or onto the internet. Nothing could be further from the truth. That is not what happened. We have said, and the person in the video, Ronan Flynn, is of the opinion, and we're of the opinion, for very, very valid reasons and reasons we've shown in previous videos, that our members of Angarda Shia Corner um, released the video because they were fully aware that Ronan Flynn had spoken to Aaron's uh, legal team and that he was going to blow the lid on the behaviour of Mark Phillips and Paul Gill, who threatened him and uh, threatened he would never see his wife and child again, threatened him with incarceration in relation to a serious assault and drugs charges here in Ireland. So all, um, all of that was in play at that time, and we've shown quite clearly that... Uh, it was detrimental to Aaron's case, as we've seen today, obviously, and as we will see on the 15th of July, uh, completely and totally detrimental to Aaron's case. And um, Paul, Justice Paul Burns. So I, I am certain that he made a serious error that today, but he was only summing up. Obviously, he won't make that error when he uh, comes to Aaron's Aaron's and se Aaron's sentencing on the 15th of July. And hopefully, we will have more information to throw light on that whole entire situation and this fiasco that is known as um, uh, intimidation. And again, all the newspapers, uh, all the headlines. So we go back again to Reynolds, Schiller, Ali Bracken, uh, Reynolds, yeah, Paul Reynolds, all of the journalists. If you look at your headlines, if you look at the double page spreads and front page headlines that you've done in respect of Aaron and indeed in respect of, of myself going in to speak to the members of Angarda Shia Kona in Carrick Macross, the words in headlines was intimidation. And I will have own Reynolds and uh, Robin Schiller on the court today, intimidation was never mentioned. So there is no actual crime. Because we would have to see that there was some form of intimidation towards Daniel Cahill, whom uh, Robin Schiller is quite happy, uh, it seems, to protect uh, a man who lords a uh, child paedophilia, prostitution. And Lohan Stain is obviously happy standing behind Daniel Cahill, a thug, uh, a criminal, a drug dealer, a narcissistic uh, control freak. And these people are willing to stand behind him in the name of Detective Garda Adrian Donahue. And that is the common denominator. These bastards here, Mary, Schiller, Stain, Graham, Hudson, all these people are willing to stand behind a scumbag like Daniel Cahill 
And again, and again, uh, Shiloh, uh, if you you've, you created the hero piece that we've shown on Daniel Cahill, um, why don't you, in association with Daniel Cahill, uh, sue the Justice for Aaron Brady campaign in respect of uh, the nasty things we've said about your friend Daniel? That's your friend Daniel who promotes child prostitution, Robin Shiloh. A fact that you have seriously uh, omitted. A fact that when you put the clickbait journalism on today with uh, um, the unfortunate Dean Byrne who has been used as uh, a, a pawn in this game and again you're using uh, a child pawn uh, supporter to uh, put pressure and show Dean Byrne in a bad light in a case where there is no victim and there was no crime. Because at the end of the day, Daniel Cahill came forward, gave his testimony, Aaron Brady or the Brady family. So that's where we are at the minute, folks. Um, so that's simply what happened today. It's what we expected. Um, we are going to continue to uh, disseminate um, and dissect LMFM, uh, the book How to Make Money from Your Mother, Friend and Colleague, because there's quite a bit of work to be done with that, and also uh, LMFM, there's one or two more uh, short videos to be done in the LMFM podcast, and of course the two uh, bottom feeders, Healy and Schiller's podcast, we will also have a look at that. Um, a massive thank you to all those people who have contacted us and helped us. Um, we are making very, very good progress in respect to some aspects of the American end of the case. Uh, there's a number of people who contacted us back at the end of 2020 and very early into 2021. Um, we do know that you are following Aaron's uh, campaign and we would ask you once again, please get in touch and confirm and give us a little bit more information into the details you give us. If you could do that, we would very, very much appreciate it. I'm sure you know who you are. Just before Christmas 2020 and early 2021, because the information we have coming forward now, will uh, that will all correlate uh, very nicely together. So thank you to everyone uh, once, as I say, for your very kind words and your support. Please like, comment and share. You know Aaron's campaign is being attacked and um, we'll be doing a number of lives uh, early next week and we will also be giving a little bit more detail into the LMFM podcast with Pat Murray and Jerry Kelly. So thank you once again and we'll see you all very shortly at our uh, on our next uh, podcast, our next video. Thank you very much and we'll see you all then. Thank you.